So, one of my favorite things to do in Los Angeles or SoCal is to go whale watching. Southern California is just one of the best places to see such a variety of different cetacea species. Cetacea being dolphins, porpoises, whales. You can literally see everything here. You can see blue whales, humpback whales, orcas, fin whales, gray whales, all types of dolphins. Obviously an orca is a dolphin, I said that earlier. Um, but you can see common dolphins, resource dolphins, offshore bottlenose, inshore bottlenose, just, so just a huge variety of cetacea you can see off the coast of California. And that's what we're going to be doing today. Today we're going to Newport Beach with a company called Newport Coastal Adventure. These guys are awesome, they really know what they're doing out here. They actually have a new boat, it's called a Shearwater, which is named after a bird. Uh, here's a picture of one that I took the other day. But this uh, new boat, it holds 15 people. And it's a really intimate process, so you're on this 15-person boat, maximum. Sometimes you can have less than that, which is even better in my opinion. You get really close with the captains, the captains talk to you, and they tell you, you know, what you might expect to see on the day out. Um, they obviously keep in, keep in contact with the other whaling vessels in the area. Any fishermen that see a whale, they'll radio the captains and let you guys know. So if you're ever in Southern California, I highly, highly recommend Newport Coastal Adventure. And yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. Let's go. Alright guys, so here we are in Newport Beach. I got my camera, my Lumix G7 with my 100 to 300 millimeter zoom lens. This is the Mark II version. So I just got here. We're gonna chill on the beach for a minute, see if we can see anything. Uh, maybe get some shots of the birds, some shots of the waves. Waves, bruh. California, bruh. And then, uh, then we're gonna go whale watching and hopefully we'll see some cool stuff. So yeah. Now the first critter I encountered was a juvenile California seagull. Now most people think of these birds as gross and disgusting and honestly pests, but I think they're rather beautiful. You can see this portrait shot, you know, just the eye and the beak of this guy. Really cool little guy. In this shot you can see the really dark, rich brown color of his feathers with those nice Newport Beach houses in the background. So after a while of hanging out with this guy, he decided to dip, which is perfect because I had a boat to catch. See you later, little dude. As we got in the boats and headed out into the harbor, we saw some beautiful brown pelicans out in the rocks to our right. These are the biggest seabirds in our neck of the woods, and it's cool to see some individuals printing themselves like these two. The second we exited the harbor, we saw some very strange butts staring back at us. As we got closer, these butts turned into little sausages. As we got even closer, these sausages turned into California sea lions. The most common pinniped in California. These smelly guys are actually lots of fun. I swim with these dudes in Baja, California, and their curiosity and playfulness makes them really fun to watch. Unless they're like these dudes that would rather sleep all day than play. Seriously, I don't know how having a bolt lodged in your neck is comfortable, but they make it work anyways. Nonetheless, these guys are always a good time. The first hour of the trip was pretty slow. Miles and miles of the blue-green Pacific was all we saw. Within minutes, everything changed. These majestic guys are offshore bottlenose dolphins. More robust than the inshore form we normally see off the coast, these guys are found more than a mile off the coast. They tend to feed on larger and deeper living prey items like squid. This pod of about 50 dolphins was extremely playful. We saw them jumping out of the water and even bow riding a bit. Truly an amazing experience being surrounded by these huge dolphins.
About 10 minutes after leaving the Dolphins, we heard our Captain Taylor scream, Yeehaw! And spin the Shearwater vessel all the way around. Moments later, a freight train of a whale broke the surface of the water. A light blue slash gray back rose from the depths only to return seconds later. A blue whale. Blue whales are the largest creature to have ever lived on our planet. Bigger than the dinosaurs. Blue whales can hold their breath for up to 30 minutes if they want to. However, the usual dive is about 10 minutes. So we waited to see her pop up again. Right at the 10 minute mark, a spout appeared about a half mile away. However, this wasn't our blue whale. We rushed to the spot to find a humpback whale. Sadly, the blue never showed up again, but we were delighted to find this friendly humpback. Known to the local area as Brainstorm, this humpback can be easily identified by the check mark and the circle on the right side of its fluke. We watched her for three sequences until it was time to return to the harbor. If you guys want to see some individual whales, head over to happywhale.com. That's where I found this picture of Brainstorm just a few days before we were there. Shout out to Kristen Campbell for taking this shot. a chance real quick please go up to the front of the boat and look right down we have like 30 seconds here but please take the opportunity to look right down the as we rushed back to the harbor the ocean had one more surprise for us captain taylor couldn't help himself when he spotted a megapod of several hundred common dolphins we heard that quintessential yeehaw again as the shearwater spun around once more we found ourselves surrounded by dolphins Traveling in megapods of up to 1,000 individuals or more, these guys can be identified by the recognizable yellow stripe on their sides. Another amazing experience out on the ocean. That's not it. Headed into the harbor, I managed to spot an osprey sitting on one of the harbor entrance posts. He was pretty far away, but I managed to capture a few shots of this oceanic bird of prey. And that's where my day ended. Four cetacean species, one pinniped, and multiple birds in two hours was quite the adventure. That's it for me guys, hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you on the next adventure.